Hey, hey everyone, Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I have a brand new listing going live. I better get out of the street before I get ran over. Here in the beautiful Sun City master plan community. This is located at 2813 Breaker Creek Drive. This is a townhome. If you know anything about Sun City, watch my YouTube channel, or you can always go to my website at neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com. This is a beautiful single story attached townhome at 1767 square feet with two bedrooms, two baths, and a two car garage. This was built in 1995 and we're listing it for 375,000. I think that's a steal of a deal, especially for Sun City. Now, when you own a townhome in Sun City, you are not responsible for the maintenance of the front yard or the backyard or any of the roof or exterior options. Now the HOA tends to be a little higher than um, the Sun City HOA. You'll have two HOAs, which Sun City Summerlin HOA has gone up, I think 201 now. And then this one's 260, I do believe. I'll have more information down in the description below. But you do, this little courtyard is your responsibility for maintaining. So it's nice that you don't have to worry about the exterior aspects. Um, the only downside is you don't have a yard, but some people don't want to have a yard and have to worry about it, right? So this home was freshly painted throughout the entire inside and all new carpeting. This is one of the bigger townhomes here in Sun City. As you walk in, you have this big, large living room and formal dining room area with a double-sided fireplace. There's a couple of the solar tubes throughout as well, and that's pretty popular here in Sun City. Um, but it's nice new carpeting, freshly painted, move-in ready for you to buy at 375. What a steal of a deal. So we're gonna go back towards the back. Now, when Sun City was built, you had an option of adding the laundry room here or making this into an extra den type situation. Um, so oftentimes a lot of the homes here, the laundry is in the garage. Um, as you can see, they have a desk. They have some built-ins here, perfect for storage, as well as a den and then some more cabinets right here. All the cabinets have been freshly painted. You have some nice appliances. All appliances, well, at least the washer, I mean the refrigerator come with the house. You have a dishwasher. The sink. This is Corian countertops with a double oven. And again, it comes with the Samsung refrigerator, nice and clean. And freezer as well as a nice pantry with the pullouts, which everyone likes having these pullouts. Um, then you have the kitchen nook area right here, shutters throughout. And this is the family room with the double fireplace and some built-ins as well. There's ceiling fans in every room and in the family room and in the primary bedroom, you have surround sound speakers. Now this was, um, they have a covered patio, but they enclosed it back in the day, many, 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 many years ago. And they have a ceiling fan in this covered patio for a little extra privacy. It is not air conditioned. There is a wall unit that they think works, but if not, you can always get a newer wall unit to make this room more livable space and a little cooler. Now, as I mentioned in Sun City with the townhomes, the yard is not maintained, the backyard or front yard is not maintained by you. It's maintained by the HOA. The nice thing with this one is still very, very private and you can't really see anybody here. You do have this wall to make it private. Um, so if you do have animals, you can still let them out and not interfere with the neighbors. Let's go take a look in the garage because I know you guys like looking in the garage. We'll just take a peek this way of the nice living room that's very large with the dining room. Again, all new carpeting, 
Beautiful colored carpet. This is a two car garage and you know, they got a porthole with lots of storage cabinets. Brand new water heater. And I do believe the AC was from 2013, so it's newer and there's an, also a water softener. But it's nice to have storage. And then your washer and dryer would go right here. There's the plug for it uh, and some cabinets. Lots of storage in here and the garage is pretty decent sized as well. check out to the right you have like a little linen area where you can keep your linen as well as the second guest bathroom with the cultured marble the white cabinets as and then the tub shower combination cultured marble as well then you have the guest bedroom, which is a decent size. A ceiling fan, a solar tube, shutters, and a nice size closet that goes all the way down. All right. Let's go in the primary bedroom. You have this nice little built-in right here for additional storage. The primary bedroom is a pretty good size with the tall vaulted ceilings, ceiling fan, shutters again, and a little nook area. Primary closet right here. Pretty decent primary closet with some custom shelves and drawers, which is nice to have. Oh, very nice. Decent size, and then you have a mirror. Double vanity with the makeup station area. And your separate tub and shower. And that's a little mat right there. It's not dirty, it's just a mat. <laughs> with your cultured marble some storage as well. So again, this house is listed in Sun City, Summerlin. This is a townhome at 1767 square feet, two bedrooms, two baths, and a two car garage. We have it priced at 375,000, price to sell, priced very well, move in ready. If you're interested in it, call me at 702 three seven zero five one one two for private showing or bring your agent with you thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button